Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to convert VOB files to MP4 format using an app called VideoProc Converter. Here, this is the look of the app. So what are VOB files? Why do we need to convert them to MP4? A VOB file comes from the full phrase video object file, which is a container format contained in a DVD video media. Simply speaking, VOB files are those found in a DVD. Here, let me show you an example. So this is my DVD drive. So when you insert your DVD onto your computer through a DVD drive, it will show you something like this. One folder is audio, the other one is video. If you double click on the videos, you will see that you have some of the files having the format of VOB. And this is actually the video file. All the video content is stored in these files. So how did you get these files in the first place? Well, it could be that you got them from the internet. Maybe your friend shared with you these files from his personal DVD, or you may have copied them from your DVD. Let's say in my case, I have copied all of these, not just these files, but let's say I copied the whole DVD content and then store these contents onto my computer. So let's say I paste it here. So as you can see on my desktop right here, these are the DVD contents that I just copied from my DVD. And now I have these files here. So you see, because VOB files are derived from DVDs, they cannot be played on most mobile devices or laptops, which lack a DVD drive, which is why you may need a separate apps like VLC to play it. Or you may need a VOB converter to convert these video files to MP4. This is when app like Video Prop Converter comes in. It helps you to quickly and conveniently convert all your VOB files to MP4. Okay, without further delay, let me demonstrate how to do that. So after you have the Video Prop Converter app open, the next thing you need to do is click on Video. And if we take a look at the top here, we have some options, video, video folder, music. The one we click on is on video. And I have the VOB files stored on my desktop right here. So I just go to it, desktop, click on videos. And here, you select the one that you want to convert. Let's say I want to convert the first one here. This file is about one gigabyte. I click on open. If you want to convert multiple files, click on video again. Select all of those files you want to convert, click on open. So here you can see you have added in all of those files you want to convert. As you can see that after you edit in, MP4 format has been automatically selected for you. If you do not want the automatic selection of MP4 for you, you can always change the target format. Just click on that file. Like in my case, I select the first one. I click on target format. Click on general profiles. Here are the formats that you want to convert to. Again, you can convert to MP4 or you can just convert it to specific devices like iPad or iPhone or Android pad, Android phone and so on. Again, there are tons of options for you here that you can select to convert to. You can convert to only for Apple devices, Huawei, Samsung, Android, Microsoft, Sony and so on. For the purpose of this demonstration, we only focus on MP4. So because it already select MP4 for me, I do not have to change anything, but I can modify the name of it. So if I want to rename it, I just click on this icon right here and it allows me to rename it. So you can see the output name, whatever name you want to call it. Let's say Animal1 title, just keep saying that Animal1. If you want to change the format, click on the front here. Of course, at the top left, you can see the quality. You can change that to slower, fast. The slower you select, the higher quality it will become. The faster you select, the lower quality it will become. For video codec options, you can see here that video code you cannot change, but frame rate you can change. Resolution you can also change. Let's say I select to convert this to 1920 by 1080. You can convert it up to 4K right here to support 4K as well, but I just select only HD version and I leave everything else the way it is. I click on edit video if I want to. If you want to crop or cut any part of the video, you don't want the whole video, you can do so as well. Let's say I want to cut here, I select there. And here, click cut and then click done. 
so now after it converts the, the remaining part is only the one i cut at the moment again you can also crop the video provide some effect to it or rotate the video or even put watermark to it again the other video you can do the same change the name of it to something else just say i put this one animal 2 title also put animal 2 and this one i would just change the format as well to 1920 by 1080 Click done. So for demonstration purposes, I will not convert all the four. I just want to make it quick, so I just remove these two. But in your situation, you can convert all the VOB files in your DVD folder. But in my case, it's just convert only two here. And the next stage you do is take a look at the right side right here. They say hardware acceleration engine. Click on options. And as you can see here, at the top they say hardware info detected by video proc converter. And it's scanning my computer for a supported processor because my Mac is using Intel Core i5. So you can see it ticks enable. With this processor, it helps to convert the video faster. If you have newer MacBook Pro or newer Windows computer with advanced CPU core, it will help to convert the video a lot faster. So in my case here, it already supports, so I just quit this. So it already ticked this, which means it will make the conversion faster for both files here. And you can also change the output of the video where you want to store. In my case, it's just leave it like that. But if you wanted to put it somewhere which is easier to get access to, you can do so as well by clicking on browse here and select the place where you want to store it. But in my case, I just leave it like that. And once everything is checked out, I just click on run to start the conversion process. So we'll start with the first video, we just have to wait for it. Once it's finished the first one, it will start the second one. So we have to just wait and see. As you can see, now it starts the process of the other one. Okay, now it's done. As you can see, these are the files. And after the conversion, because I chose 1920 by 1080, the video size is also smaller. Let me play this to show you. So for copyrighted reason, I have to mute the sound. But as you can see here, it works perfectly. And the video format again is in MP4, so you can play it on your computer or on any device, it will support now. So if you're interested in the app, all the links are in the description, you can check it out. You can try with the 7 days free trial versions first to see how it works. And if you find the app is something that you need, you can go to its official website and purchase the app genuinely. So again, all the links in the description. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can convert VOB files to MP4 using video pro converter thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video